been a little more than a week since powerful tornadoes ripped right through Matthews, snapping trees in half and leaving behind this giant mess for neighbors to clean up. All new at noon, we are learning just how many people were affected by those tornadoes earlier this month. Yeah, there's still a lot of uh, cleanup left in some areas. Eyewitness News reporter Deshaun Brown is joining us live from a stretch of road in Matthews, and uh, it kind of depends on where you are, but in this particular area of Matthews, you still got uh, uh, quite a mess to clean up there, Deshaun. Yeah, Blaine, it has been a hit and miss in some areas, but on this stretch of West John Street, I'll show you what we're seeing here. There is still a significant amount of debris that's left out, trees that have been chopped down, the branches all here on the side of the road. It is not in the roadway, thankfully, but it has been pushed off to the side. Still a lot here to clean up. As for the full extent of that damage as we walk you through some of this, the town is now saying that they received 93 calls specific to the weather event. 36 came in for downed trees, and that was down on power lines, on cars, also on homes in this area. They told us they also identified 51 properties that were damaged in some way most of them were also homes. And just to give you a sense of all this will cost, or what this will cost rather, the town is now saying that is approximately $759,000. That does not include damage to Novant Hospital, which was also damaged in some way. Back to you. Good day, Sean. Hopefully they can get it all cleaned up out there.